What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, we've got another style battle. This time between the Monstrat and the Loafer. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various new lifestyle topics, such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe and tap that notification bell and join us. And to my returning friends like Paul Ellis, salute. Now the topic for today's video comes as a result we got in the comment section from a subscriber who recently watched a video from Real Men Real Style about the monk strap and a loafer. And the one to ask my opinion as far as which one was better. Now I'm gonna link Antonio's video in the description and I think you should check it out. But in this video, I'm gonna do a comparison and contrast between the loafer and the monk strap and tell you which one I think you should choose. So without further ado, Let's get into this style battle between the monk strap and the loafer. Now, first off, let's talk a little bit about where the monk strap and the loafer fall in the dress shoe family. Now, I like to consider them casual dress shoes. They're not the shoes you're gonna wear to get totally dressed up for a job interview or wedding or something like that, but they're dressy enough to have you looking spiffy nonetheless. Now, as far as my personal history with both shoes, I have to admit I was more of a loafer guy when I was a young G. But as I got a little older and got more into style, I started to like the monk strap a little more. The thing I used to have against the monk strap, I used to see guys mainly rocking a single monk strap, and it just didn't fit my eye. But as the double monk strap became more popular in the 90s and the 2000s, I started rocking. Now when it comes to the monk strap, it's a little more elegant and a little dressier than the loafer. And I would consider the more style conscious, fashion forward choice. I find it to be a very elegant shoe, and I believe you can wear it with anything below formal or corporate. I'm talking about business casual, some corporate environments, relaxed environments, going out on dates, just being a little stylish and fashion forward. The monk strap was definitely a great choice. And I find as opposed to a loafer, it looks great with the suit, but it looks just as great with a pair of chinos, pair of trousers, and dressing up your favorite pair of jeans. I find myself reaching for my double monk straps over and over and over in many situations. And if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know it's one of my favorite, if not favorite, shoes to throw on. Now, but there are a couple drawbacks. One, they can be seen as a little showy and a little too fashion forward for my more conservative guys out there. And although they are a casual dress shoe, I wouldn't wear them in super casual situations, especially for shorts. Now this isn't all about my opinion. Make sure you let me know in the comment section which one you prefer, the monk strap or the loaf. Now let's move on to our other contender in the dressy casual shoe. We're talking about that loaf. Now as I said, this is a choice for a more conservative, laid back guy. I find it to be just as versatile as the monk strap as you can wear in a variety of situations but can make it much more casual than you can with the monk strap. And it's definitely a favorite warm weather shoe that you would have no problem rocking with shorts, but it looks just as well with a pair of chinos and trousers. And of course, it definitely looks great with a pair of jeans. Now, if you're on the fence about how casual or dressy a certain style of loafer is, let me take a minute to talk about that. Your most dressiest loafer is going to be your horse bit loafer like this Gucci one. Second on the list of dressiness, we got to go with the penny loafer. And to me, the most casual of all of your loafers, we're gonna talk about the tassel loafer. So if you wanna edge more to a dressier style loafer, I would go with the horse bit. In the most casual situations, go with the tassel. Now, a couple of drawbacks in comparison between the loafer and the monk strap. Like I said, the loafer, a little more conservative. You're really pushing it if you're throwing it on with the suit. Now, I will rock it in the summer with a cotton or casual suit, but that's about as dressy as I suggest you take it with the loafer. So now that we've talked about each shoe, which one do I suggest you grab? Now I'm gonna waffle a little bit and give a caveat. To me personally, I prefer the monk strap, especially the double monk strap. But I tend to be a little more style conscious or fashion forward than average guy. If you're someone who likes to step out a little bit and be a little more style conscious, I suggest the monk strap. And I found in my small one-man focus group, the ladies tend to love the monk strap more than your preppy conservative loafer. So keep that in mind. But like I said, if you're a more casual, conservative guy, and you're going for more of a preppy, waspy look, 
the loafer should be your choice. So I guess my main point is deciding which dressy casual shoe fits the aesthetic you're trying to get across. Okay, so there you have it. Another style battle between the mom strap and the loafer. Remember, let me know in the comment section what your shoe choice is when it comes to dress casual shoes. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. Helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos released every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.